the new business discussed is we discuss and approve the chamber budget that was moved by Bill and second by Bob, all approved. We discussed and approved Charlene Melcher to be the chairperson for the September Fest Committee, moved by Bill, sec Oops, I think I made a mistake there. Oh, uh, second by Bob, all approved. Um, we also discussed the red ribbon cutting for Diamond Street pro uh, project that will be held off until July. We mentioned the red ribbon cutting for the chamber members. We also mentioned a newsletter for the Rosemont Chamber and mentioned also setting up a committee. We also mentioned setting up a grant committee for the 2015. Uh, comments made were that we thanked Gail and Paul for taking on the graffiti abatement. Um, thanks also went out to Beth for her input on the budget info. And we also mentioned the Jet Talks night on August 18th for Rosemont. We motioned and adjourned, um, moved by Bill, second by Bob at 6.35. Uh, I guess the question I would have is, um, I thought we uh, had a motion to uh, have a table at the Jim Hawks for the 250, or did we do that? Uh, I think we did that the month before. Oh, okay. Um, I guess the only other comment I have on these was um, the correction um, in the new business um, where we approved Charlene Houchard as the chairman. Uh, he had to go second and it should be Bob, so that would be a correction. Oh, yeah. And I think um, maybe um, in our future minutes, we may be under the treasurer's report, we maybe should put our Indian balance for the chamber. So it would be in the records as to what it is. And the uh, minutes? Yeah, because you give the treasurer's report every week. Okay. So now I will put the penny down and say. Okay. Um, with that, I take a motion to approve the minutes. Dan moves. I'll second. Any other discussions or any other corrections to the minutes? All those in favor? I do have a question real quick, if that's okay. Robert? Um, I don't have a, an updated copy of the bylaws. I don't know if you guys have a copy up there or not. But do you, do you know if we changed uh, Article 11, Section 2 of the bylaws? chosen from the committee by members of the committee. It no, was changed. Was it changed? was voted less. Okay. So that one less was changed. Fault. Okay. Yeah. But that's out of order. Okay. All those in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. 2-0. Moving on to the treasurer's report. $2.28, which includes uh, office supplies, um, which is stamps, the telephone, um, and we had a uh, deposits of $2,785, which includes uh, five renewal 
memberships, uh, two sponsors for our September Fest, six uh, booth participants, and one parade participant, which leaves us a balance of uh, $22,145.73 in our operating account, and we still hold $5,000 in our bank account for our grant money. For a total of $27,145.73. Any questions? Audience has any questions on this? Okay, need a motion to approve the treasury. Dan moves. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Two zero. Yes. Okay, move it on to unfinished business. First item is the grant contracts uh, were signed and returned to the county. Um, we did have an error in our contracts. It was had my name on it, so they had to correct those. And they did send out corrected contracts. We did sign them and send them off to the county. Uh, as much as I know we haven't received your funds yet, they uh, deposit directly into our bank account. So I'm sure Laura will be the first one to know. I do know that Keith and Son uh, received their funds. I talked to Ruben yesterday and said that he had got his funds from the county. And I talked to Jimmy. Uh, for in Sarah Highway, he hasn't got his funds yet. So we should be receiving the funds pretty soon. And that's what all the update I have on that. And moving on to our business plan for the chamber. I don't think anything really has got done on that. Uh, I was out of town for two weeks and I got back on Tuesday. I had to work on that. Uh, and the director of work on that. Okay. Moving on to uh, repair the roof. Well, we did talk uh, last meeting about the roof. Uh, we did get a couple a quote on it, um, six ninety four. I'm not sure if we had a motion at all to do anything. I think uh, Bill and Bob just talked about uh, doing a repair on. So I guess we'll, I'll see if I can get some new quotes and we'll bring it back to the next meeting. Moving on to item D, the coupon book. Laura, would you like to talk about that? Uh, sure. Um, I have created a, uh, a website number offer approval form that I'm looking at getting approved by the board. Um, and this is just to help us um, get as much information as we can for the uh, for the offers that our members want to put on uh, the website. And um, that's going to be available on our website. And um, I've talked to a couple members already that seem very interested. Uh, as of right now, this is going to be uh, free to our chamber members. So if uh, you know of the chamber members that don't know about the coupon offer or have not heard about it, um, if you can just let them know that that's going to be available uh, for the chamber members. And um, Laura, explain a little more what you're saying. That it's a discount that the members give to new customers, etc. Well, um, if you have a, a something, a, a special running uh, for your business, um, let's say for myself, as for bookkeeping, if I'm going to offer uh, do, um, offer one month uh, of a four-hour service uh, to a new client that signs up for a six-month term, uh, I can actually put that on the website. So if somebody is interested on in finding out what our members are going to offer, um, then they can go on to the website and see what our members are going to offer to anybody that's out there. 
Um, let's just say for Sensium uh, Velada, they normally have uh, monthly specials on a warmer. If it is that they want to put uh, their special on our website so people can go to our chamber, Roseman Chamber website and see what the special is, then they have that opportunity to do that. That's going to you know, attract people to our website, give the community uh, more uh, as to what's going on with our chamber members, and um, help our businesses um, just help one another. So I'm putting that in place now. Uh, there are guidelines, uh, and that's what the approval form has uh, is for, so that everybody knows what the guidelines are. So, where do we get the, the guidelines? Uh, the guidelines will be on the website. Oh, it's not there yet. Uh, and I need to get it approved by the board before it's official. Right. So. Well. And I think they brought that up because um, the Penny Saver used to do coupons at Penny Old Guidos and uh, Crazy Autos use coupons in there all the time. So we felt the Penny Saver believe that maybe um, this would help our website build uh, our website up, bring more traffic to our website. So I think it's a good idea to do it. Um, I'll make the motion to uh, approve the coupon. We might have to, after a few months, make some adjustments, mm -hmm. then we'll just bring it back to the board. Okay. I've uh, moved that we approve the uh, form as presented. A second. Okay, and second. Okay, the motion is to approve our form. Uh, any questions from the audience? Okay. That, uh, that form's already on the website. A little early, I'm trying to get ahead of myself here. <coughs> okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I don't know if you want me to pass this around so you guys have a chance to look at it, or you guys want to wait until you see it. Okay. Okay. I'll just, you can just kind of give it to him when you're done. I looked at it very well. I'll skip to that. All right, Laura, do you want to make any other comments on like, the website? Oh, uh, I have been uh, updating the website. Um, you know, if uh, you guys can like take a look at the website, uh, the website is rosemanchamber.com. Um, I actually got the coupon under members. There is a uh, um, under the members, it, uh, there's a section that says member uh, offers, and that's where all the offers will go. I also linked it to the front page, and um, I've also made a section for the actual form, so you can just print it off from the website. If it is that you can't get it from the website, you know, just let me know. You can just shoot an email to the um, uh, to to the email. Did you have a question? Yeah. Uh, what happened to visitrosewood.com? We're still using visitrosewood.com. Oh, so that's still up like a redirect. Uh, I assumed that the county was still running it. I, I was just curious. No. We still have county. visitrosewood.com. Mainly that's like a uh, website that Terry really has access to. And so we we've, we've created in the office for kind of um, we created a website called Cham uh, rosemanchamber at gmail.com, and that's kind of like for us office people. I didn't want to get our email mixed up with Terry, uh, the email that Terry gets mixed up with, because and if it, it is that he has so much email site uh, going through that email, he might miss kind of passing it on to us, and I didn't want to well, you know, talking about the miss. Let's talk about the actual web address. Yeah, this the, the county used to push the whole, like, every community was visit Mojave, visit California City. I just didn't know if that was a thing anymore. I was curious about that. I think it's redirected to the room of change. Well, that, that's all my question. I guess I'll ask you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's redirected to the county. Not anymore? Why not? I don't think so. And thanks, Kevin. 
I think the chamber paid for that. I think we paid for like three or four different sites. All I know is that we paid for the Roseman Chamber. Well, the check on it. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I didn't know if the county was going to pay for What's that one called? I was just curious. This is uh, Roseman.com. It was, it was years ago, the county was pushing a tourist thing that all the chambers would do visit and in the city. So visit Cal City, visit Mojave, visit Roseman, visit Bakersfield. Okay. I just, like I said, I, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the I'm just curious if that, uh, if that was still running. I, I actually never even knew where that no visitroseman.com came from. No worries. <laughs> Albert? Um, I have noticed that if, if you do a Google search for the Rose, Roseman Chamber of Commerce, um, and you go to the uh, Google map and click on there and try to get to the website from there, they'll actually take you to rosemanchamberofcommerce.com, which is a website for an Australian plumber. Yes. Yes. That's so, that one. What, what's that one called? Rosemanchamberofcommerce.com. I think that was one that Lancaster created for us. It was. And because they are not kind of like paying for it anymore, well, this plumbing um, group picked it up. Is, is there anything we could do to get that back? If, if they own it, no. No. Terry? They were trying Just to. check, it does redirect the Rosen Chamber. Okay. Um, See, nobody wants to type in those long phrases. No, but that. even if it's a redirect to our main site, I mean, the more ways we can get people to our site, the better. Yeah, well. And, and we don't want Google, the Google map to where if they click on the office and it says visit our website to go to the Australian Plumber website because that's what it's doing right now. So if, if it's an Aus, uh, Australian Plumber, that means they own the domain? Yeah, yes. what, it probably I, I, is, kind of, what it probably is, if you don't have a Google account, which is part of the SEO, if everything's not, if you don't have a Google account and you're not redirecting properly to your website, it's going to go to whoever wants to type it. In terms of the search criteria, so if there's an SEO function you can do through Google, and you have to submit your site correctly. And if you don't submit it correctly, then Google one is not going to find it. Two is not going to. Uh, right. But now it is possible somebody else can have a similar domain name. Well, what happened is they picked it up. Back when we split from Lancaster, uh, it, it, uh, it sat dormant for, I think, so many months, and then that guy picked it up. So when we reestablished Roseman Chamber, we uh, decided to just do rosemanchamber.com instead of um, uh, trying to chase that one down. So, right, so I, I guess the point I'm trying to make is you need to go to Google and establish everything as Roseman Chamber. And you'll have better results when there's a Google search. Uh, Google search is that is not the Right. You, you can go and claim your site can you, can you on Google. That, that way, you know, when we search it, it'll go to the Google search. Yeah, I have to say, 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 I have So the more people that look more are uh, look at our rosemanchamber.com, the better for us, because I know that will uh, show show up on top. So. Okay, moving on to Crane September Fest. That will be September 26. Uh, Laura, would you like to update us on what we have? Uh, we are getting applications in. And in a couple weeks, I will be starting to call the people on our list from last year to start pulling um, those um, applications in. Uh, so far, uh, I don't have a final count. I just uh, I just have what we got from last month, uh, which again. We had two sponsors, six booths, and one parade, but I do know that we have more applicants than that. Um, if you know of anybody that is interested in a booth or wanting to be in the parade, the applications are, again, on the website at therosemanchamber.com. 
And um, if you have any kind of input, uh, that would be appreciated as well. Um, Monday we have a meeting at 6 o'clock at the, um, the chamber uh, to talk more about the September Fest with the committee. So. I think that's on the 27th. Oh, on the 27th, I'm sorry. That's Monday the 27th. Yeah, go ahead, Gail. Uh, um, the, somebody asked me yesterday, they had already turned in their application and their check and they had not been cashed. They're just asking, were you holding on to those? Well, I, because Terry's been gone the last week, um, I'm not going to make a special trip out to Lancaster okay, to take they checks. they were just asking because so, they knew that I would, um, yeah. The checks are, you know, in the process of being taken to the bank. Okay. Just, uh, you know, it may take a week before we can get into Lancaster. Since we don't have a bank anymore, so if there's anybody out there that can help us get a bank, that would be appreciated. I think she was looking at you to do I didn't know what you can do. Get a business done well. Okay, moving on to the Diamond Street project. We talked with John over at Kern County today. Um, he said um, they're just about complete with this Diamond Street project. They are planning on paint stripes on it. Uh, he's not sure when the road department is going to do that. And the other thing they're waiting on is the street lights, and they're dealing with Edison on that, and that's where the hang up is. But he's quite sure that uh, they should be installed within a month or so. Uh, but then, been delayed quite a few times, so. You know what, um, I don't know who we could talk to in regards to putting reflectors on those on black bars. pieces out there. We need reflectors. We really need reflectors on there. I, I don't know if you have any contacts or oh, yeah. to send it right now. But where are you talking about? Yeah. A lot of pieces that they uh, You know bombers. those black chest pieces? Yeah. Uh, I think like a reflector needs to go all around, kind of like the top. Okay. There's so, three on each corner and they're black and yeah. you can't see them. At night it's too dark. And the CHP actually into. mentioned that. And one's already gone. Yeah. Yeah, if we had lights, you would. Yeah. So we're talking about it. One's already gone. One's already gone. Okay, moving on to the event center. I did talk um, with um, Jed a little bit. He did come up with some new ideas. Um, we, we still have the big blue wall, the car wash wall, that we needed to put some design on. We should be getting the funds from the county uh, because Jim will be taking the mural on that. So we have to approve some type of design. And Bill wanted to approve it before we do it. So I should have the design for the next meeting um, as a public uh, Other than that, we are working uh, on the event center, we look at the race the stage. Uh, I think in the, in the designs that we showed um, originally when we submitted it, we did not have the stage raised. But, um, the people in the music business stated that it had to be raised to be a beautiful stage, and so that's what we're looking at doing. And we'll most likely meet uh, in the next week or two to discuss that some more. Any question? Okay, moving on to new business. The ribbon cutting for Diamond Street. They did um, contact me um, from Zach's office. They were looking at doing a ribbon cutting. I talked with them yesterday and I talked with um, John again today. It looks like they're going to put that off until um, sometime in August or the first part of September. They wanted to get the streets, um, the striping done on the streets, and they also wanted to get the lights in before they do this ribbon cutting. So maybe sometime toward the end of August or the first part of September, we'll be looking at doing a ribbon cutting for Diamond Street. Well, it's just incorporated in with September 5th. Yes. Uh, that'll give you plenty of time to plan for it and wait for it to get down the street. You know how people Yeah, but the amount of people that are still there. Well, 
Put down the parade September Fest is a big task in itself. Uh, I guess we could talk more about it. Right. Here's some early morning ceremony before you start all the other things. Yeah. I'm, I'm envisioning the, the ribbon to the events that are going across the stage and the first one is the chamber. It's a big pair of scissors and it cuts the ribbon and then the parade marches through. Like an animal house or something. <laughs> I'll send me the designs and I'll send them to the cabinet. <laughs> okay, the Rutherford Knight Jetthawks. We did approve um, by the table there. It was $250. They were giving us uh, 50 tickets with it. Any other business would like to do it? Um, they'd like to see more business supported. We could um, use the tickets to uh, you know, help the youth out in our community or you know, the 4-H. You know, any of those groups. Um, does the board have any comments on what we want to do with our 50 tickets? Uh, maybe we should give it to some of our members. Why not? Right so they can mix and coming all the television. It's like kind of mixing it up. That may be a good idea. Laura, you have any thoughts? No, I pretty much agree. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to meet again before that August 18th. So, I don't know how we would let people know that we're going to offer that to our members. Facebook. On the website, what's going to post So, I guess just uh, keep your eye on the website. Uh, I can uh, try to put a like email blast out there to all the emails that I have uh, to let you know that those uh, tickets may be available. I don't know what the guidelines are to how many tickets will go to a number. Um, that's something that I put the board probably still has to discuss. Well, What's the board's pleasure? I only get to vote if there's a tie. Um, I guess one well, ticket. What do we have? Um, 50 tickets. How many members do you got? Um, well, you have to offer two, so the husband and wife for two people. No, I would. So we can't, we can't offer two to the members and uh, first come, first serve. So. Um, I would say that they can email you at this person at gmail.com. You're tossing the ball to me, I guess. Huh? Well, that's only because I'm going on vacation. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, we want to make a motion that uh, yeah, we'll we'll also make you two tickets. offer two tickets to our um, members. of emails that you can just, anybody that has given you an email, you can send them an email telling them about that? Laura has some. I mean, is it on a, so you can just do a master list? Everything? Okay. I'm not very, I'm not sure how to email people without email, let's see, seeing everybody and Everybody seeing everybody's email and BCC, so um, yeah. and I can't guarantee that everybody will see that because that might go into spam. Just send yourself an email on the two and the BCC and copy everybody else and nobody else to see everybody else. Okay. I'm sorry, that makes more work for you, but it gets it out there and more people then will have a chance to get the tickets if they want it. Okay. Okay, so I have a motion um, to offer two tickets to our uh, membership. Um, motion by Pat, second by Laura. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion passes. Okay. That was uh, our Jetbox. Um, we talked about maybe starting the mixer. I think with um, September Fest coming up and with the Jetbox, 
think we'll be getting to a mixer. We'd like to do some mixers in the future uh, for, for local businesses. Laura, you got any comments? Uh, we are in the process of putting something together. It's just that with the September Fest coming up, that's going to monopolize my time. So um, I can't, you know, really concentrate on, you know, having someone uh, do the mixer unless there's someone else out there that kind of volunteers to, um, you know, take care of the mixers for us. So. Um, okay, we'll discuss the next next one. And then we talked about ribbon cuttings for a membership um, that hasn't went anywhere yet. We'd like to make do that in the future here. So that's on, on the radar, I guess. Uh, Laura, would you like to talk a little bit about your profit and loss for the uh, year? Uh, I have put our profit and loss together. Uh, our fiscal year did end June 30th. Um, so I just, I did make a copy for the board. If any of you guys would like to see the uh, profit and loss uh, after the meeting, you're welcome to come and check the profit and loss out. Um, other than that, do you guys have any questions on the profit and loss? Can you at least highlight a little um, things? I, I can tell you that uh, out of all the income and the expenses, we had a net income of uh, $3,779. Um, it is broken down to uh, our profit uh, between our administrator, the cleanup that we had, uh, and our parade of lights and our September Fest. So it shows that our September Fest last year made uh, had a profit of <coughs> not right because I don't have the money in here for the grants received. Because that shows on the balance sheet. So the numbers aren't quite what we're looking for, huh? I don't think the numbers are quite what we're looking for. Okay, right. you can I'll, I'll put this off till next month. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what the spreadsheet says. Okay, so um, next on the agenda was new members. Um, this time we do not have any new members. Um, one of the things, being it's a new year, I'd like to um, appoint um, our parliamentarian and an alternate. I talked to Beth about being a parliamentarian. Ryan and Bob being our alternate. Um, if it's acceptable to the board, um, I believe to appoint those two people to those positions. Yeah. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I couldn't hear you back here. What positions were you appointing them? Uh, the parliamentary positions okay. in in the bylaws, it states that we should have a parliamentarian and an altar. And that was Ryan, who else? Me. Okay. Okay, one other item um, that was brought up, and that was the bank. Um, I did get an email from Sherry Billman, and um, it sounds like Edwards Credit Union was somewhat interested. She, the email stated that maybe if the business community contacted Edwards Credit Union uh, and coaxed them into coming, maybe that would move a little faster. I've been talking with Stan at Edwards um, for what, a year now, I guess. And it sounded like they were interested, but uh, it just hasn't happened yet. And that's one thing we do need uh, a bank for our community. I do have the number um, in an email. If anybody's interested in contacting them, let me know and I'll get that number to you. Um, I'll try to pass the number out to our local businesses to try to 
to generate some interest to see if we can get somebody to come here. When I talk to Stan and George, they said no bank was coming. There's only one bank approved in the last eight years in California. New, new bank. It's very, very difficult to open that. I just last meeting I was there and talked to Dennis and let you guys come in. Either one of you had it's not possible. That's what I was told by Bank of the Sierra. Um, their leadership was that it's impossible almost to, for them to open up a bank right now. All the tape they have to go through that, yeah. That's what I was told by that. Is that on the broker side or, or, or is that on the state? State, 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 state. They only opened one bank in the last eight years in California. Wow. That's in North somewhere. Some of the banks, though, have just like little spots where you can come and deposit and like get cash and, and what have you. There's kind of a satellite yeah. thing, a small. This you know, go through the, the same booths. Same booths. Albert has a question. Uh, more of a comment. It, if they're looking for letters or something to support, it'd be a lot easier for the chamber members if they had a, or if we developed a template letter. That way we can send it out to the membership. All they have to do is change the date, change their name, and then sign it, and then send it in. So if that's something that the, the chamber can develop for its members in order to help build that support. Because a lot of members are not going to go and, and write a unique letter because they're not sure what they're going to want to say. So if the, the chamber could develop a letter, send it out as a template, so all they got to do is change the name, change the date, sign it, send it in, it makes it a lot easier. And we're going to get a lot more participation. Well, it's kind of your size, uh, I mean, it does, you do get a lot more participation, you do get the name out there, but it doesn't have the same impact as the mm -hmm. individual letter. Yeah, they just talk so. Similar letters have much more impact. They, they could always change it. I agree. I don't disagree with that. I mean, they, it could be editable, so that somebody could add their own little flair to it. Or at it. least a list of, please mention this, please mention this, please mention this. To give them a guideline of what to mention. I did talk to Jack Cephas, too. I mean, he said he was with them going to meet with us. And Stan said that he would meet with us. But what you're saying is that when you talk to him, that, you know, getting a bank here is going to be practically impossible. Yeah, it is. That we mentioned that we should open bank and you need a $20 million deposit and it's not going to happen anymore. So we need the doctors to come step need, forward, huh? We need some big heavy players. We need $20 million or more. $20 million, huh? Yeah. I thought it was like two or three That's million. what George told me. I mean, he's been in this for a long time. That's George from uh, Mission Bank. He retired. He was he still sits on the board for the Mission Bank, Bank mm -hmm. Used to be Mojave Desert Bank. The oh, church yeah. thingy? Sure. So but they were both there, and I said, why don't you guys come to Roseman? And I uh, said, it's just not possible. And George is very updated on it. He said, there's only one bank open in the last eight years, and it's somewhere known. He said, it's just not possible. Yeah. Is that like a freestanding bank, or is there? Has anybody talked to Albertsons about perhaps doing someone to come into Albertsons? I know a lot of the grocery stores have banks inside of them. Mm -hmm. Especially ones that have opened in the last eight years. You just forgot how they go through the approval from the state. It's still the same process. The same process, I'm pretty sure. Bank is bank. Yeah. Well, they, they, did, they did say that the credit unions were a lot easier to open up than a regular bank. Uh, that's what I was told. Did this definitely say they would have merchant accounts? When I tried to open a merchant account at Edwards in Lancaster, they said Roseman was not allowed to. They, they couldn't open commercial accounts in Lancaster at that branch. Did they say what? They just said that they didn't. They'd do it Lancaster, they had Edwards, but they said no Roseman. So I was trying to do it for the friends of the library when the bank closed here so we wouldn't have to go clear to Lancaster. And they said no. Is and I wanted a credit union is instead of a bank. Yeah. The friends of the library? We opened ours. We made one to the town of Edwards. Yeah. Well, this, this was last year. And they said because it was a business account. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. You just opened it. We opened it as a non-profit account, mm -hmm. not business. So. 
Well, no, I'm sorry. The, they're under an umbrella in, in uh, Bakersfield, but they said that as a, a business that they didn't open business accounts here. Yeah. Hopefully, it's changed now. Well, we'll have to continue to work on it. Something that we can't give up on. Maybe we need to send letters to Sacramento. Just I mean, saturate them, individuals as well as businesses. Just keep sending them in. That's something that needs to be done. It's hard to operate a business, especially if you need cash in this community. Why don't you open up your own bank account? Your own bank account. I got 20. You took the rest in. <laughs> Pass the hat in each meeting. I mean, that's a great start. It's funny. It adds up. What do you got? Okay, there's 30 on the table. I got 20 on the wall. Go up, give me down. Let's just put the tape in. Okay, moving on to director's comments. Laura's going to go on vacation here for a week, so we're going to be short at the office a little bit. Uh. Well, our other office help is on vacation next week, too. So, more than likely, unless someone else volunteers to be in the office next week, there probably won't be anybody in the office next week. Just to let you know. I'll be in the know. Thank you for all. Thank you for coming. Um, we are working hard for our community. I know there's a lot of work to be done yet. Uh, this is the first meeting of our new year. I'm sure Bob will be back and Bill will be back. Uh, thank you for taking your time. With that, I will actually I'll open it up to the public if you guys have any comments. Any comments? Albert? Um, yeah, I've got a couple questions. When, when is the uh, agenda normally made available? Whenever I get time to do it. Who, who gets input on what's on the agenda? The members can send in information to me. I tried to do it the Monday before the meeting. I got back Tuesday. I sent the email out to the, the directors, asked them for uh, input on what they'd like in the agenda. Uh, I talked to Laura a little bit, and that's where it's how the agenda got to Send you an email, in other words, if yes. they have something they would like on the agenda. Yes, they can. Okay. Make sure you send it to the visit resume at gmail.com. Yeah, that comes to me. Yeah. Because right. on uh, Article 7, Section 4, all regular meetings shall include board matters, general membership, and, gen and membership participation, and shall be available on the Monday prior to the regular meeting, as this is our regular meeting. So we need to see what we can do to make adjustments to have it ready on Monday. And I, if, if we can, I'd like to see if we can add a section on here for um, member comments, kind of like we're having now. It's not agendized. Well, that's so I'd like to we have, only have on one hour to do our meeting, and, and if we let the public speak first, we might not have time. To well, do not. The I'm not saying public. I'm saying membership. This is a general membership meeting. Right. We need input from the membership. And that's what I'm doing. I'm giving you the opportunity. To have well, I'm just asking for it to be agendized. Is all. Put it on the agenda. Um, Maybe at the very last, and then kind of gauge as to what time. I mean, because if, if, if we need to, I mean, we could. We don't necessarily have to end right at, you know, 6 30. We could continue the meeting outside. I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, you can put it on. I would also like to request when starting this next month, seeing how we have a new uh, uh, budget, if we can make copies of the monthly profit and loss uh, with a uh, monthly comparison to what was budgeted, as well as a year-to-date analysis with that and have it enough copies for those who do attend the meetings to view it? I, I can't say that we cannot provide copies. Just we could actually 
ready for review, one copy. Yeah. You cannot just pass out with our business. I mean, any goes out of the door. Uh, we want we wouldn't mind having one copy for review. And you always can come to the chamber office if you want to see the information. Everything is available. Yeah. Can can we get an email? No, I don't think so. And why why is that? Because I don't think our personal uh, information should be floating around in emails. Well, it's to a member. Well, that's true. But, uh, if you want to see the information, I think it says that there will be copies available at the office, so you can you come, come in review. into our chamber office. Any member? I do have a profit and loss from the beginning of this year to now. Okay. Did, so, does it have a comparison to what was budgeted? I, I'll, uh, I do have the budget here. But I don't have them on. Because that's, that's something that I've always done. It's very so, simple to do in like QuickBooks. With my time restraint, that, that's just not something I can put it, it doesn't take very long. So, um, I mean, I think that I volunteer enough time, you know, for, for something being volunteer, where if someone wanted to step in and do something, that's, you know, that's available. So you're taking volunteers? <laughs> yes, we are. Good. Any other comments from the... We have to say something. Yeah. What's up, Good. Yes, Albert? Um, for, the, for the standing committees that we have, uh, did they go ahead and submit their itemized budget for the year? Yes, the, the parade committee submitted the yeah, we, budget. Yeah, we submitted the budget for the September Fest already. For the September Fest? Yes. And when, when were those received? Uh, that was received, I believe, um, that was the same month that we did the voting. May. That was in May. Okay, so those, those were already all accounted for for the, uh, the, for the new budget? Fest. Budget, yes. Okay. Um, everything else in the budget was just pretty much um, the parade of lights. We don't have really a budget for, I mean, other than what we have in the main budget. But it's, it's all itemized out, or is it just a lump? You mean for the September fest? Yeah. Um, I believe that she itemized that out. Okay. Um, Yeah, I think we went sort of line by line um, and put in what the boot space income was, the trade, in, trade uh, income and sponsorship, and then we itemized out uh, what we were going to spend on banners, what we were going to spend on advertising, and uh, the other items that we were going to spend money on. So the, I know we have a banquet committee as well. Did they supply a budget? We haven't done anything with the banquet committee yet. Well, there hasn't been no budget set for the banquet committee other than what's on the, uh, the main budget for the chamber. Um, we estimated uh, a banquet installation of expenses of 1250 and we're looking at an income for the banquet uh, 1250 so we're looking at that being a wash. Mm -hmm. uh, we did set um, a budget for mixers in our main budget. Um, sorry, I'm looking for uh, of $750 a year. Okay. So. But but it's not itemized as according to Article 11, Section 3 of the bylaws? No, is, I guess it's not if you're saying it's not. Is that a standing committee? Well, yes, we, yes, haven't really the, even, we haven't really set up well, the, the, budget budget. For, oh, the, the budget for the, uh, the, the banquet 
all we did was give an allowance on, on the main budget. So we still have to set up that itemized um, budget for the, uh, the, so, uh, the mixers. And once I'm able to put a committee together for that, then uh, that can be discussed in that committee for the budget. But they're only going to have a budget of seven hundred and fifty dollars. So, so it's have to really work, up to work that committee that to itemize it. Well, it was two hundred and fifty per event. Yes, there the is max uh, of two hundred and fifty yes. per uh, event. We're looking at having three a year, and the maximum per event is two hundred and fifty dollars. So they kind of did sort of a little bit in there. Yeah, put it in mind, they just ain't planning for you. It's just in the world of business. Right. So it's not itemized. No, it can't be. They can't be because they don't know what they're going to do. Well, I'm, a I'm, breakfast I'm just, or a dinner or what? And I understand that. I'm just asking as far as if, if we're following the bylaws or not on this subject. You know, Albert? Yes, We're only like three years old. We're trying to follow the bylaws the best we can. Uh, we're all volunteers here. We spent numerous hours working at the chamber, numerous hours putting these programs together. I understand the bylaws are pretty rigid and you want us to follow them to the T, but it's really kind of hard. And um, Laura has been a godsend to us to help us with our treasurer report and to put a whole bunch of more work on her is just not fair. We're the ones that are doing the work here. We're the ones that are moving the chain of the door. So, we're trying the best we can. I understand there might be a few things in the bylaws that we're not quite up to speed, but we're doing, doing a good job for our chain. And, our and chain that's, that's great, and I appreciate that. I would like to congratulate our new directors uh, as tonight is their first meeting, being the first meeting in July. Um, but as, as far as just pointing out the issues that we're having with the bylaws, we can't fix them if we don't know what they are. So I'd just like to address what the issues are so we know what we need to, to focus on and fix. That's, that's all I'm trying to do. If you we, would like to make a list and send it to the president, then he'll take it to the board. Why don't you uh, so. generate an agenda for discussion? Well, we, I mean, so. that, I mean, that, would, that, that would be a great item to have on the agenda if, if, if we did. Yeah, we don't have any problem. But uh, since you want that and you have knowledge, would you like to volunteer and do that? We are open to that. I, I'd be happy to. I'd also like to see if we could get uh, I mean, all, uh, an updated bylaws on the website. I mean, that's that's public knowledge. We don't don't know. Know. We're, a private, we're a private organization, so it's not public information. Just like our treasurer's reports and our minutes, that belongs to this organization. It doesn't belong to the general. Well, as a member, I would like to request a copy of that. Again, you can go ahead and please email Terry, and then there was copies at the office. Yeah, we have copies. There was copies at the, um, the, the chamber office. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, with that, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Hand move. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two.